In this video, we're gonna be using First Line Shave. This is Razor Ruby Undead, and there'll be a giveaway opportunity for this. So you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. And we're gonna use the Wilkinson Sword Quad Blade Razor for Dome Shave. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, there will be an opportunity for a giveaway uh, for this soap, which will come to you unmolested because I have not scraped any out. I'm actually using a uh, sample that was sent to me by Marion the Barbarian. So this will be up for giveaway. And the reason why I'm giving it away is it's not available anymore. It's one of those things that was just sort of a special run. And I would prefer just to give this one away because you don't have the opportunity to buy it anymore. I'm not a huge fan of these special releases where they're very limited and, and a lot of folks don't get the opportunity to try them or maybe they don't have the, the cash at the time that they're they're dropped. And so I mostly try to use products that are available and that you can purchase. And so I'm gonna give this one away just cause I don't wanna be one of those people going, ha ha, I got it and you don't. Um, I obviously have soaps that fall into that category. Maybe they're no longer made, but generally I wanna use stuff that's available. So we'll give this one away today. Now, one of the things I wanna mention I do like the scent of this, which is inspired by Enigma. Really nice scent, really good strength, scent strength on this one. At least 7.5, maybe eight. Um, really good scent strength. Sometimes when I open the top on this, the first thing that hits my nose is something, I think some of the base in the first line shave soaps, I think every now and then you get a whiff of it because it's, it's at the very beginning, I get the, just a slight hint of funk, but then as you hold it to your nose longer, it smells great. So overall, I really like the scent, but I've noticed in a few of these, um, if I leave it capped and say, I leave this cap for a day or two, and I open it, I smell it right away. That first hit sometimes is a little funky. And so that's one of the things I've noticed about these soaps. And I think that's what ruined fallout for me, to be honest, is I had more of the funk than anything else or so much so that I just didn't enjoy it. And so you know how I felt about Fallout. I just did not like it. Now, this one on the other hand smells very, very nice. We'll put the notes right there for you. Um, we have bergamot, jasmine, ginger. You can read the, 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 the rest. Again, inspired by Enigma. Very, very nice scent. Very, very good on the scent strength scale. Um, this was $23. I did buy it for four ounces. Pricey on our cost chart there. $5.75 an ounce. So... Um, pretty pricey. Um, he does give one dollar to per tub to um, backstoppers.org to support uh, families of first responders and so on. So if you want to take that off, that drops the price, but it's still in that over five dollars an ounce range. Um, fairly pricey soap, not one that I'll take a lot of flyers on because it's it is pricey. The ingredients on this fantastic. We'll put it right there. Goat's milk. Um, you have shea butter, kokum, jojoba. This is very reminiscent in the ingredient list and the way it performs to Kaizen. They're not identical, but they are very similar and the type of lather they make is very similar as well. Uh, the main difference between the two, this one is more expensive than your A&E Kaizen soaps, especially if you're in the club. So if, that's, if cost is a factor uh, and you want a soap of this quality, maybe look to A&E. Ultimately, it's your decision. Okay, we're gonna do a head shave today. Let's go ahead and start by Misting the dome. I'm going to be using the Wilkinson Sword Quad razor, which you see here. It has two blades on each side, proprietary blades. If you want to know more about this particular razor, you can go check my, um, I'll link below the razor I did previously on that, or the, <laughs> did I say razor I did previously? The video I did previously on that. We're just going to work some PA pre shave cube in here because I have it. Definitely don't need it because the first line shave uh, base is quite good. This is the 3.0 base. Very good. Again, to me, this um, this is very reminiscent of, in, of uh, Kaizen, both in the ingredient list and the way it looks and performs when you lather it. So it is a very good performer, and I do like the scent of, <clears throat> excuse me, Razor Ruby. And I just wanted to give it give it away because... You know, I'm fortunate. Um, a lot of folks will send things for me to try. I have supporters of the channel and I'm fortunate and I wanna give some back, especially when I'm showing you the soap and you can't get it. If it were older, it wouldn't bother me as much or one of those, something I just had to have. But as a rule, 
I'm not that interested in limited run products. Um, unless, you know, like, uh, you know, perhaps they have a charity or something in mind. It's a, a benefit for a charity or something like that. I mean, obviously, that's not my rule for every product all the time. But <clears throat> generally, I want to support companies who have regular releases where everyone gets a shot. Because when these come out, sometimes they sell out pretty quick. And if you're not, if you don't have the money, let's say, and a lot of people are on a budget. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry for coughing. Something's choking me up there. If you just don't have it in your budget at that moment, you miss out. And that's not appealing to me. I like the things that remain around for at least the season, you know. I don't mind seasonal. But I'm just not super attracted to super limited runs. I do like the fact that when I mention... <coughs> sorry. When I mention that... Um, I was going to get the aftershave of this, but it was sold out. That Mike from First Line said sometimes he has leftover uh, scenting oils or enough to <clears throat> make another batch. So if people reach out, he'll sometimes try to make another for folks. So if you're interested in uh, the aftershave here, which again is sold out, maybe reach out and see if he has... Oh, man. I don't know what's got me choked up. I may have to pause and just get that out. Uh, let me pause. We'll be right back. All right. And so we paused, and I think we got a good cough out there. I don't know what that's about. So we'll try not to cut ourselves with this Wilkinson sword. Again, two blades on each side. Uh, interesting design. The thing that really, when I did the face shaving video with this, the thing that people did not like was the fact that it uses proprietary blades and if this used just two DE blades I think people would have been a lot more inclined to want to give <clears throat> sorry still choking up here I don't know why that come out come came over me all of a sudden but I don't know if it's this <clears throat> excuse me got a pause again all right so we're back and I don't know what's choking me up so my, I have not been coughing until I came in here and I lathered the soap up. So I don't know maybe if I'm, if if something in the soap is making me um, cough or if it's just, you know, who knows what reason. But one thing is for sure, I'm uh, sort of choked up all of a sudden and I don't have a cold or anything like that, or at least not a, not a one that's caused me to cough. Literally, I just came in and started making this video and... <clears throat> As soon as I got this soap on my on the dome here, start coughing. So who knows? I don't know that it's related, but <laughs> I guess it's possible. But anyway, I still like the scent regardless. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, back to the razor. A lot of people just weren't interested because of these proprietary blades, but I thought I would try it on the dome. I bought it. I may as well give it a go. I did like the way it shaved on my face. Um. <clears throat> that much. I appreciate it. And I will say this first line shave soap, quality wise, is fantastic. Terrific. I really enjoyed it. And I'll also say that uh, Michael from First Line, um, <clears throat> on a couple occasions when I've ordered, have, has thrown in samples. No, I'm not saying he does that across the board for every single person all the time. But one time in particular, he reached out and just wanted to know if I was interested in any since and he was kind enough to send samples and you know how I feel about that I really appreciate it because again this is not a soap at five plus dollars an ounce that I will take flyers on <clears throat> um, because it is for me pricey you know now some people don't care at, at all about cost and if that is you that is fine I know some people are like, well, you know, we buy so many soaps. What does it matter? Well, that's exactly why it matters because, you know, we buy a lot. <clears throat> and so I apologize for the coughing in this video. But this scent is stout and uh, I like it. The brush, by the way, is the Polar Shaving. I think it's called G4. I'll put a link below. You can get it on Amazon for about 30 bucks or something. I can't recall. It was green and the tub 
of razor ruby here was green and so I figured I'd just use this one. I haven't used it for a little bit. Uh, high quality soap here from First Line. That much I can tell you for sure. No quality problems. I do need to apply a little more um, hydration here. <clears throat> no, pro no quality problems whatsoever with this soap. So let's tell you how to enter the giveaway today. <clears throat> so, our good friend, Melly Mail, has been making videos for a long time. He gives in this community all the time. All he does is give, 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 give. Positive guy, uplifting guy. He's not giving anybody any mess. You know, If he's giving, it's no mess. You can believe that. <clears throat> so what I want you to do is, first of all, you must be subscribed to Melly Mail. So I'm going to link his channel below. I'm going to link his latest video. When you go to that video, number one, I want you to subscribe because when I draw the winner, I'm going to run it by mail. And if you're not subscribed, I'm going to have him, I'm going to draw again. All right. So first, subscribe to his channel, Melly Mel Shaves, link below. Number two, I want you to hashtag, and I'll put it right here for you. We love you, Mel. We love you, Mel, because we do. And if you don't love Mel, you should <laughs> because... All he does is spread the love. And so I hope you will show him, show him back some of that love that he has expressed for so many of us for so long. And he is not someone who got into this just the other day. He's been doing this for a long time. He always has <clears throat> encouraging words. If you're going through a rough time, he, he's offering to be there for you. He is just a true gentleman, in my opinion. And he is a guy that I am uh, happy to call a friend. We have uh, known each other. We don't talk every single day. But he's one of those people that I do talk to from time to time. We did talk on the phone recently. And he's just a wonderful guy. And I realize that sometimes people will tell me, I can't, you know, he's a little too enthusiastic for me. Well, that's Mel's style. He's a positive guy. He's a happy he's a happy guy. And I hope that you will give him a chance cuz I think that if you watch Mel for a while, even if that shot out of a cannon type enthusiasm may not be for you, um if you watch him for a while, I think you'll grow to enjoy him, or at least I hope you will. But then again, I know not everyone is, is everyone's cup of tea, and I'm not everyone's cup of tea. We all know that. <laughs> that is well known and documented, but Mel is one of those guys that just gives so much. And I would love it if you'll subscribe and you'll hashtag we love you, Mel. And I will put that in a random <clears throat> draw. Um, it will be looking for that hashtag. Then once I do it, I will reach out to Mel to see if the person is subbed. If they are not subbed to Mel, you will not win. So you must be subbed to Mel because he's been doing it for a long time. Um, he hasn't grown as much as many other channels have. And uh, I think he's he's earned our respect at a bare minimum. And so, you know, give him a sub. And maybe if you don't want to watch every video... Just watch the ones where he's using something you enjoy, but I encourage you to watch him because you're going to be hard-pressed to find anybody more positive than Mel. You're going to be hard-pressed to find anybody who's more uplifting. And again, yes, I know he's he's shot out of a cannon enthusiastic, but uh, don't hold that against him. Don't hold that against him. The fact that he's he's spreading love, that he tries to enjoy his hobby you know, in the way that he enjoys it. And so give Mel a chance, check him out. He is truly one of the gentlemen in this hobby and he's been doing it for a long time. He is not new to the game. I know that a lot more people have become aware of Mel because of BBS Live, the show where he and Nate do um, giveaways and so on on Instagram. A lot more people have become aware of Mel for that reason, but he's been around a long time. And believe me, he has paid his dues. So please give the great male a chance. 
So how's the shave going with this razor? I know some of you are interested. Honestly, I just don't like it that much. And quite frankly, I just don't like DE razors on my head that much. And this one, even though it has more blades, still, I've got all sorts of spots all over the place that I need to go over and over and over. So if I pull out my leaf, I can make short work of these quite easily. The DE razors just, um, they do not appeal to me on the dome. Um, just because the way I use them, you know, I just prefer the leaf. The main difference in uh, a DE razor, if you're, if you're curious, is a DE razor and say a, a razor like a leaf. The orientations of the blades. So when you're using this, you know, it's on your head pretty flat and the, the blades are laying flat. When you're using this, it's, it's shaped like a T and you're putting it on your head and trying to figure out where that good cutting angle is. And it differs from DE to DE, whereas this one lays flat and that pivot, it sort of does it for you. So it's easier. And for me, it works very effectively. Anyway, I've got a, a good head shape nonetheless, and I really have enjoyed this soap. So let me get this lather off the dome. We'll come back and finish this baby up. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back with the magic made by witches. This is Fair's Witch Hazel, and I forgot to bring an extra shave in here. Actually, but I don't have the Razor Ruby Undead Aftershave, so we'll we'll just go with the Thayer's, which will work great. This is the cucumber version. Again, I'll link the products below that are available. Um, let's talk a little bit about the razor, which I didn't touch on a lot. This razor has proprietary blades. I'll show you in case you're dying to see it. Um, it uses a set of blades that has two blades on each side. I thought it might be interesting to try for a head shape because of that, because the leaf uses three half DE blades. But honestly, um, for me, this just shaves like any normal DE razor. So if you love DE razors, I don't think you're gonna get any more out of this particular one for head shaving at least than you would out of any other razor. And you're buying a proprietary blade, which no one seems to like. <laughs> and so as far as the Wilkinson Sword Quad Blade goes, an interesting thing to try, and I think it might be a gateway thing where people stumble upon it, like a cart shaver, and maybe they take the next step into traditional shaving, but um, I don't like the proprietary blade. If it used two regular DE blades, I would like it a lot more. It did an okay job though. The Razor Ruby Undead, fantastic soap quality. Uh, you can definitely buy from First Line Shave with confidence in terms of this is a good formula. It compares very favorably to Kaizen, both in its performance and even the ingredient list. Very, very similar. Um, really nice scent. I like the scent. Typically, this would be a keeper for me, but we're giving it away because you can't get it, so I want to give it away to someone. So remember, go by, subscribe to Melly Mail, hashtag on his last video, which I'm posting below. We love you, Mel. And uh, in a couple of weeks, we'll throw the winner in a video. We will not announce it, so you got to be watching to win, and uh, we'll, we'll give away the Razor Ruby Undead so someone can get a chance to to have that. I do, I definitely like first line shave products. Thumbs up. Um, Polar Shaving G4, available on Amazon, synthetic, very nice. Everything, actually it was a good, it was a good head shave. We enjoyed, us, enjoyed ourselves. We're spreading the love. I hope you'll do the same. Thanks so much for watching. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, your shave to your way, and as always, God bless.